Hi, my name is Gabe, and I am the owner, developer, solo member of Complex Games. I currently have a full-time job uh, as a software engineer in a field uh, completely unrelated to games. Uh, however, uh, game development and design has been a passion of mine for quite some time. Um, I've worked on a few uh, smaller game projects or hobby projects over the years, which eventually culminated in the beginnings of what is now in Exilium, uh, my first released title. Uh, after about two years of development on in Exilium, it was uh, becoming apparent to me that I was really going to finish the game and put it out for release. So earlier this year, I formed Complex Games in preparation for that release. Well, I think for people who study computer science, uh, like I did, game development uh, kind of naturally becomes uh, an interest. Games are a great application of some of the coolest things you can do with computer science and, and software in general. Um, but I think I really started to become passionate about game development, like I'm sure almost every other indie developer, um, after seeing and playing some of the earlier, more popular, more creative uh, indie games like, like Braid, uh, Fez, Limbo, The Golden Swan, uh, Binding of Isaac, etc. Et um, and, and realizing the, the raw creative potential that, that games have. I mean, uh, people like to tell stories, people like to share their experiences, people like to express themselves, um, people like to show off cool stuff that they, they can do, um, and other people appreciate those things and want to engage with them. Um, and I realized that games are a great place to explore uh, some interesting and challenging concepts, uh, whether it be thematic, uh, mathematical, theoretical, philosophical, political, uh, entertaining, fantasy, I mean, whatever. And, uh, and I realized games were an easy extension for me to explore uh, those concepts in my own way. So I never really know if I describe the game um, very well, so we'll see how it goes. Um, in Exilium is my first completed title. It is a 3D isometric uh, role-playing game uh, in the similar vein as games like Diablo uh, and many others. It is very minimalistic, uh, but not from a visual sense. Um, one of the main design goals I had for In Exilium was to strip away some of the, the common tropes that are found in many uh, modern role-playing games. Uh, things like complicated plots with uh, many uh, complex characters uh, that all have to have their own backstories, uh, uh, enormous or intricate worlds with, with tons of uh, extra content to explore, almost never-ending content, um, and kind of a sea of, of quests to kind of push you along and guide you through the game. Um, I think it's easy for, for the role-playing game genre to kind of fall into that very treadmill, uh, pointless quest type thing. So I wanted to, to get rid of all, all of that. Um, In Exilium has none of those, those things. Um, there are no other characters. Uh, there are no quests. All of the maps in the world are, are relatively small and concise with uh, very kind of specific purposes. Uh, the game is incredibly story light. Um, the game, it, it's more about exploration and, and discovery of the, the somewhat subtle theme of the game um, with some puzzle solving and uh, many enemies and items to collect in combat. Um, but I wanted the player to feel like uh, they needed to explore the world in order to progress. I didn't want to have to tell them what to do. I didn't want quests or telling them where to go on the, the map or anything like that. Um, they need to discover it on their own. And uh, my hope is that in the process, uh, they will also discover uh, maybe the uh, slightly deeper uh, theme of the game. 
Um, so that's that's an exam in a nutshell. Well, I've already started working on my next game, um, which I will hopefully be able to share a little bit about uh, in the near future. Uh, but for now, I'm just pushing in Exilium, trying to get as many uh, players to play it as possible. Um, and I'm excited to have completed and released my first full game. Um, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds.